I want to first of all to let's all rise on our feet and let's let's do an opening prayer. Shall we pray? Give ear to our cry, O oh God. Hacking unto the voice of our meditation. For it is unto you that we call. At this time that we are gathered, we have gathered to celebrate the home going of our brother and in support, mourning with our sister and the family, we are, asking, we are praying for your presence in the name of Jesus. We are praying for the spirit of comfort. The Bible says that you are the God of all comfort who comforts us in our difficulties. I'm asking tonight that in the name of Jesus, the power of comfort shall be released in our midst, that we shall be empowered to go through this program cheerfully and joyfully. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your presence and for your mercy. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Shall we be seated in his presence? Amen. Um, you are welcome to Living Faith International Church. Um, the, the senior pastor have gone out on a mission, but the first lady is here. So he's very well represented. Amen. Amen. So I want your heart to be at rest. According to the program, I want to go on straight to um, the program according to the changes that have been made because we are doing it in U.S. and in Nigeria. We want to connect together. So at this time, um, Barista Baole I will, will give a presentation, give a tribute at this time. I want us to uh, patiently observe whilst we get ready for the hymns and praise and worship. Praise God. Uh, Boali Taiwo is the national president of the uh, Alumni Association of Atunji School, which of course is one of the executives and National Secretary of the uh, Alumni Association uh, is going to speak to us. We have a little uh, technical issues that will be resolved shortly. Uh, I'm going to put them on the mic and speak to us for just one minute or two. Thank you. Uh, Barista Boali, you're on the mic, sir. That will use that cable. That's a short one from Barista Bowali from Nigeria. Right, okay. The next one too is also by Zoom. Uh, our, um, our Deaconess Esther Nwabuku will also be 
leading us. Good tonight. evening, all. Good evening. The next one is uh, by Zoom by Mr. Tunde Dohati. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm so, um, uh, 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 I don't know where to start. The body of Christ has said good evening. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite an unfortunate period that uh, we love, we love, I love my brother, but God loves him more. And uh, whatever has happened, we will have to, in everything, we give praise to God. Trevor is such a wonderful brother. We, we live together, both of us, with our grandmother. Uh, we share quite a very fantastic period of our youth together. He's a giver. He's, so, he's humble. He's a faithful. Most especially, he, 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 he makes people happy. And uh, I want to I want to, I want to, I, I just want to pray God for his life. He seems to be a great and great and encouraging life to all of us. His friend, participation and support uh, since the demise has been very fantastic and it, it, has, it has shown the kind of uh, love he shared with the people. And uh, to the people of God, I will say thank you for the support given to the children the children, the wife, and support for the businesses. Uh, it's been quite, uh, it's been quite a while. Uh, it's been quite a while, but uh, we can't go even at a period like this that uh, we have said it would take its life. Even though it's an unfortunate incident. But all we will require of you, the body of Christ, is to continue to pray for the Father. For us to have the fortitude to bear this stuff. But we know that uh, one day we shall be where we will live to pack the ball in the day of resurrection. Once again, I thank the body of Christ and thank the pastor, the church, the friends and family who have the grace this occasion. I will have loved to be here, but I'm here also on the field so that I can appreciate everyone that is stay there. But, uh, to God be the glory to speak here for Nigeria for the purpose of the funeral and I wish that his soul will rest in peace. Thank you so very much. My name again is Tunde Doad, his immediate junior brother. I live in the kingdom. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, let me hear some response from the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, we are here in support of our sister and the family. So we are going to patiently, we are going to have a long heart for whatever goes on here. Today, we are mourning. Yesterday, it's also the homegoing celebration. Now I want to do, want to do praise and worship. Um, even though we are mourning, we still want to praise God because we know that the beginning and the ending of man is to the Lord. So we want to give him his place, give him some praise, give him some worship because whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. So right now I'm calling on, I'm going to call on our sister, uh, Minister, Minister Mrs. Texan, she's going to lead us in a brief time of praise and worship. Amen. Let's all be on our feet together. Amen. Just for a short moment. We give you praise, oh Lord. We give you praise, oh Lord. We give you praise. Oh Lord, for you are Lord of Lords. We give you praise, oh Lord. We give you praise, oh Lord. We give you praise, oh Lord, for you are Lord of Lords. For there is none. Oh, uh -huh. 
Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands Glory together for the Lord God. tonight. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the King of Kings Amen. tonight. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for our maker tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He is holy. He is worthy. Yes, and he is still awesome and he's still praise on the throne. The Amen. We still give him the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. For in everything he has the preeminence. Yes. Hallelujah. He is an awesome God. Awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome God. Holy are you Lord. All creation calls you God. Worthy is your name. Your majesty, one more time say, Holy, Holy, are you Lord? Are you Lord? All creation, they call you Lord. Oh, worthy is your name.
great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God, say, how great is our God.
which is in Christ Jesus. Life cannot separate us. Death cannot separate us. Angels cannot separate us. Principalities and powers cannot separate us. Things present or things to come cannot separate us. No other creature can separate us from the love that we have in God, that God has for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I want you to, to know that we are celebrating because we have a reason to celebrate. Amen. Um, we have, we have um, one, of, one, of, one pastor in our midst. Mr. Esther will introduce him. He's going to say a word of prayer with us. Now we are inviting Pastor Daniel and Pastor Mrs. Naomi Ajayi Adeniro. He's the regional pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. my biological family and the spiritual family of our CCG Chapel of Restoration, Bronx, New York. I want to empathize with you, dear sister. Children and the entire family, read that the Lord. God, your truth through, through this season. In the name of Jesus. So I want the entire church to stretch forth our hands towards this family. They need our prayer like never before. Let's thank God because God in every situation needs to be thanked. It will have been worse than this. So let's appreciate God. The Bible says in him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. To live and to die. Is all for him. So let's ask the Lord to strengthen this family. That the Lord will comfort them. The God of all comfort will comfort this family. We strengthen this family. In this season, we see them through. He will be there for them. In every area, he will uphold them with his righteous right hand. He will watch over them. He will be everything as he has always been. The El Shaddai God will be there for them in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night, all the days of their lives. In the name of Jesus, let's pray that God will be everything and everything. We take care of this family like never before. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, we don't know how it's going to happen. But Romans 8, 28 says, everything works together for good for they that love God and that are the called according to his purpose. We don't know how that's going to happen, but we know according to Luke 21, 15, he said, turn to us as a testimony. We don't know how it's going to happen, but God will make it happen. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name because you are the reason for everything. Whatever you don't allow will not happen. For the reason best known to you, you have allowed this. We say thank you. We ask, oh God, for strength to go through this season. We ask for grace to go through this season. We ask for courage to go through this season. That will be everything and everything for this family and the entire church, both here and abroad. My Father, my God, at this time, angel will surround them as mantis surround Jerusalem. We strengthen them in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, all the days of their life. And I pray the indelible mark that the deceased left behind will not be erased. The children will walk in your path. They will grow in you. In the name of Jesus, you will fulfill everything you are proposed to fulfill in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the most important thing, on that day, when we will become yonder, and the marriage supper of the Lamb, all of us, by the special grace of God, will be present. In the name of Jesus. And we pray that sorrow will not visit this family anymore. This family will not weep anymore. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that have come to encourage, to strengthen. We pray that Lord God will continue to be our joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to believers who have died 
so you will not grieve like the people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still, li we who are still li living when the Lord returns will not meet him ahead of those who have died. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet <laughs> call of God. First, the believers who have died will raise from their graves, then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever, so encourage each other with these words. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Kemi. God bless you. May God strengthen you in you and your sisters, and may they are in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our next uh, agenda is uh, a hymn from the choir, Come Ye That Love the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Zion, we are marching up to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let those we refuse to sing a thousand sacred sins, and before we Hallelujah. Come on. Whether you see it or not, that is what we are doing. Every day in our life, we're taking a step closer to Zion. Because we are expecting our Lord to break forth one of these days from the eastern skies. And we, the believers, we will meet with him. Those that are dead, they will rise up first. And we that are alive, we will be transformed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is why you should sing with joy. But of course, we are also um, empathizing with our sister. 
So we want to go on with the program. Right now, we're going to take the second scripture reading that is uh, from our sister um, Damelola. Oh, that's my daughter. Right. So let's receive it. going to read John chapter 14 from 1 to 3. Right. Okay. Good evening. I'll be reading from John 14, verses 1 through 3, the New Living Translation. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that it is better to be in the place of mourning and the place of celebration. Because when you come to a place of mourning like that, it reminds you of where you are going. And it helps you to reorder and to reorganize your life properly. Amen? Amen. Amen. Right. So we want to sing our next hymn, Abide With Me. Amen. Okay, you want to stand? If you want to stand, that's fine. Wow. 
Shall we be seated? Amen. Abide with me. Now, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can you can make that statement because abide with me is calling on his Savior. Tonight, if you have never given your life to Christ, I want you to think about it because every man has a destiny, has an end, which is death. And it is only Christ that you, you are guaranteed that the other side will be pleasant. Amen? Now is the time for tributes, and I'm going to call on my associate MC, uh, Dickness Esther Nwabuku. She's going to be with me. And then we are going to make, make the, this is a time for tribute. If there's something that you want to say, you can say it. But we have a few names here, so we are going to call on them. And then after that, you can also say, you can be given the opportunity to say something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The first name we have here is uh, Otumbak, Dr. Tai Balofing. Oh, put your hands together. Let's. Praise the Lord. My name is Tai Balofi. And Mr. Femi Olatunji is my paternal cousin from Igbaroki, Undo State of Nigeria. And I have known Femi Olatunji since I was very little. We were both born in the northern part of Nigeria. And uh, we do have association. We go to Kano, they come to Kaduna, very young back in the days. And I've known him very much ever since then. It is gratifying to know that Femi Olatunji gave his life to Christ. He became a church worker and he told me Tai Omo oh emi ti gba Jesus go eh redeem ni mon lon sin you meaning I'm now going to redeem church as a matter of fact he told me when he went to the school of theology and he became a church worker and became a coordinator he plays active role in the church so I know that Femi Olatunji will make heaven. And that is the most important thing. And God blessed him in a very, very miraculous way. And I know that he's a very prayerful person. And even when I have issues and I say, look, this is what I'm going to say, that prayer is the key. The children, please stand up. Kemi, Damilola. God gave Femiola Tunji these beautiful children. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Sit down. I pray that your tomorrow will be all right. You will succeed in everything you lay your hands upon. Your daddy is a good man. He's always very given. Anybody that comes across him with a problem, he always come with a solution. And what he cannot afford to do, he always call one person or the other. Oh, this is our friend, let's help him. And only God knows. When it is time, there is nothing we can do. 
because God is the creator of heaven and earth, is the one that created us, and when it is time to come, there's nothing we can do about it. No matter how smart you are, we are just mortals. So I thank the uh, church pastor for this great opportunity, and I, I just can't say more than what I'm saying because the most important thing is that he gave his life to Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, sir. The next name that we have is Pastor Kayode Babalola, a tribute from Pastor Kayode. God bless you, sir. And his beautiful wife. Praise the Lord. I'm always happy. Uh, please let me introduce myself and my wife. My name is Pastor Luca Yode Babalola, and uh, my wife, Pastor Anne Babalola. Um, we're parish pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God and Zona Coordinators for Long Island. Amen. I did not start out as a pastor. I was a professional, and um, Femi and um, Abu, God bless you, man. They were angels that God used to set me down as a professional. In 1995, I moved in to share office space at 1035 Grand Concourse as a professional. We quickly became friends, inseparable, and also very intense. Because Femi is a very, very intelligent man. And um, so we always find ways to do a lot of fun things together. And um, right away, I want to let you know that Femi is a very compassionate person, very accommodating, very supportive, and very caring. We became friends, and shortly thereafter, we became family. Family. And I will illustrate that to you. Um, as friends, we became professional partners. Together with some people who are here right now, we call ourselves equal investment partners. We went to real estate and a lot of other stuff. But we became very close, so much so that um, when Sister Abu arrived from London and she was getting ready to deliver, Kemi, my goddaughter, uh, the only place I didn't go was the delivery room. <laughs> I, I was following them. Then I really realized I'm not allowed to enter the delivery room. So I turned back. But thank God that Kemi is here today all grown up. And I'm, I happen to be blessed to be the Godfather. And I'm, I'm so grateful to God for that. But that is not all. I told you that Abu and Femi were God sent so that they can uh, help me to navigate my journey in the United States. One day, I called her sister Abu. She called me, and I was in the office. This time, I already had my own office. And she said, um, as re regards to your family when you get home. And I said, Sir, Ma, I don't have a wife talk more family. And that was the day that my story changed from bachelor to a lovely husband to the most wonderful woman in the world. <laughs> if, you had, if you think you, uh, she said to me, I'm going to give you the number of my sister. She's in London. Call her. And then um, I did. 
and the rest is history. To the glory of God Almighty, here I am with my lovely wife, sister to Mr. Abu, a pastor like me also, and I'm, I'm so grateful. Uh, one day we were in Harvard, went there to see our son, and um, I, I got to the venue before her because she was parking the car. And I told them at the entrance, you will see the most beautiful woman. When she comes, you will know that she's the most beautiful woman in the world. Just tell her I'm inside. And as soon as she came, they said, your wife's husband told us about you already. And you look extraordinarily gorgeous. Hallelujah. So um, that's not all. Um, I want to let you know that shortly thereafter, I became a pastor. God took me from just being a professional to become a pastor in the redeemed Christian Church of God. And from there, I became a zona coordinator, and I became an administrator to my boss that just left for a region that covers six states in the United States. Now, I often talk to Femi as a friend, but somehow I became his pastor. I became his counselor. He would call me. We would talk for hours and hours. But I never really pushed him to give his life. Because I knew that that would not be my job. Considering our past, he never believed I could become a pastor. Well, I allowed the Holy Spirit to minister to him. And the Holy Spirit worked on him. One day he said, I gave my life. I said, hallelujah. Then he said again, I've become a worker in the church. Hallelujah. You know, then he said again, I'm taking the school of disciples. I want to become a disciple. Hallelujah. You know, so you see the trajectory of his life almost was identical to what I was going through. But, unfortunately, he had a short distance to run, and God called him home. And it's so devastating to me um, that I don't know what to say to you other than you have the opportunity today to know that tomorrow is not guaranteed to you. I never, ever believed that Femi could die so suddenly and at a very tender age. It rocked me to the foundation of my soul. This, even today, I still feel very pained to be here talking to you. But I take comfort in the thought that he gave his life and he walked in the vineyard of God. I am not God. I don't know who will make heaven or not. But I think he has met the prerequisites to make heaven because he gave his life. And he has an extraordinary, really fantastic wife. <laughs> extraordinary. Extremely protective, extremely kind, extremely loving. And she's also a fighter. How do I know? I tested her before. I went to battle with her and I lost. <laughs> she said, Mr. Wallola, you don't have the strength. I say I agree. <laughs> so she's such a nice person. I have nothing but good words for her. And you can see from the children, it tells you they are, the children are from excellent source, foundation. And um, I'm still going to come back to pray. But this is, these are the words that I had when that sister was ministering in song. 
said divine acceleration. Divine acceleration. It tells me that God is taking you higher still and that you have not seen nothing yet. The blessing behind this departure of Femi is humongous. And God will wipe away your tears and your sorrow in Jesus' name. Please allow me one minute to let Pastor Ann talk to us. Good evening, church. Um, I am Sister Abu's uh, younger sister. And um, this has been a great shock to our family uh, because we also had a recent loss in the family. And uh, we were all the way in Nigeria when, um, I think we were just there a couple of days when we got the news, the sad news. Um, I used to call him Brother Femi. Um, I um, first heard about him over 25 years ago. And I actually met him for the first time in 1996. Uh, when I came to the U.S. And um, he was an amazing human being. And I mean it in every sense of the word. Um, he was very courteous, always um, kind. And it didn't matter whether you were younger than he was. He gave you total respect. And... Um, Every time I saw him with my sister, I, uh, he always was very cheerful. Uh, a lot of the places that I went to here for the first time, uh, my husband and I and my sister and her husband uh, did those trips together. I am very devastated and you have to forgive me. I'm never really short of words. Uh, as a lawyer, uh, it's my duty and my job to talk a lot. But tonight, I'm just really short of words, especially seeing my nieces. Um, and I have a lump in my throat. You'll have to forgive me. Um, I know that God Almighty is looking down on this beautiful family. And I'm trusting God that my nieces will be all right. And God Almighty will help them. And he'll be a father unto them. And God will be a husband to my sister. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you very much. That was very, very good. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. We thank God for a day like this. Our God knows everything. Even before he was born, he knew that a day like this we exist. The next name that we have on the tribute is Mr. Debola Aino. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the news of Femi's demise was very devastating to me. And up to this present time, I'm still devastated. But I know that God Almighty is the only one that can comfort all of us because we all love Femi very, very dearly. And my prayer tonight is for Jesus, the Father of the fatherless, to be the Father of Femi's children. And the, Jesus, the father, I mean, the husband of the widow, to be the husband of Mrs. Abu 
Ola Tunji. Uh, I'm going to be very concise because the two previous speakers are more qualified than me to say something about Femi. Because uh, here we have Otumba, Otumba Tai, who you know, is a brother to him. And we have Pastor who shared office with him and who saw him almost every day when they were together in the bronze. But I'm too, I'm a friend and I will have something to say about my beloved friend. Let me begin by thanking God Almighty for the life he led during his lifetime. Femola, as I fondly called him, was a straightforward guy. With him, what you see is what you get. He was not an enigma. And that's probably the reason why people are so attracted to him. If you meet Femi for the first time in the week, you will be endeared to meet with him before the, that week runs out. That is the kind of person Femi is. Well liked and well respected. Femi was, an, was as magnanimous as was God-fearing. He would not hesitate to call and let you know if he felt offended about any situation that came up between you and him. Rather than continue to nurse animosity, he was always ready to talk things over and resolve it amicably in order for the friendship to thrive. That's the kind of person Femi Olatunji was. Of course, he was human. If you confront him with any wrong doing from his part. Femi was ready to apologize to you when necessary. If there's any wrongdoing from his part, Femi will be the first when confronted to say, I am sorry. This self-effacing gentleman can be defined in one word. Love. Femi loved everyone that ever crossed his path. Firstly, he had abundant love for his immediate family. I have witnessed so many times back in Nigeria, whether in his office or at his place, his home in Anthony, you know, had conversation with his children. How he would stoop so low with them, joyfully and happily talk to them on the phone, and how he would ask them, are you guys taking care of your mother? I've seen that so many times. That is Femi for you. Thank God 
the kids are here today, grown up, and be able to attest to this, to the love that their father gave them when he was alive. He loved his friend very much, and that's the reason his office was a beehive of activities. If you know Femi, you know him very well, you can never be in his office, especially any time between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m., the office is always packed with people. Both business and social. And when Dr. Balofin was talking the other time, it said something about uh, uh, Femi having solution to your problem. It, I opened my mind. It was just like as if he was reading from my text. Because that is what Femi was always surrounded with. Because of his problem solving ability. You go to family with any problem, you will always find solution to it. And if it is something that is outside his capability, he will direct you to where to go to get that solution to the problem. That is Femi for you. And that is why everybody loved him during his lifetime. Femi was an epitome of moderation. He was by no means a reckless individual. He was measured in all ramifications of life. Be it social or otherwise. Femi was different things to different people. But to me, he was a fable. He was good hearted. And he was someone with whom I can be totally unguarded. My beloved friend, Femi Olatunji, good night and sleep on the bosom of your Lord. The next person to give a tribute is Mr. Wale Oyeleye. Mr. Wale Oyeleye, please. Thank you. First, I have to give thanks to everyone for coming. And uh, I believe we are here today to celebrate the well-lived life of our brother and my classmate, Mr. Femi Olatungi. I met Femi when we were very young because his grandfather's house was next to my grandfather's house. If that okay. That's when I met him. He was a very, very nice guy, very lovable guy, and very, very, very gentle, very quiet. 
it might be it might look big, but being a big man doesn't make him an arrogant guy or so or a bad person. It makes him it makes him a very gentle giant. That's why I can refer to him. And now Femi was a very simple going guy with a big heart, willing to assist people whenever possible. I can attest to the fact that he loved his town, Igbara OK. Okay. Okay. He loved his town, Igbara OK. And our alma mater, Anglican Grammar School, Igbara OK, where he was the Deputy National Publicity Secretary. I won't have much to say. There's nothing I can say that can over, overcome what already happened. And uh, there's nothing much I have to say about this man that has never been said. All I can say is his death is a great loss, not just to his family and friends, but also to the entire Igbaroke, Igbaroke community. We love him, we miss him, and I must express my condolences to his family, immediate family, his wife, and the children, and I pray for God to give you the fortitude and the wisdom to overcome this great loss. And uh, I have to give thanks to everybody here for coming, and I don't have much to say because everything I need to say has been said. And I will defer the remaining to AGSI alumni president. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Walling. Most of us might not know Mr. Fermi but we know Lady Abu. Lady Abu is a special person. She is very loving. She will give you all that she has. Even if she doesn't need it, she will give it to you. Even when she needs it, she will make sure you have it. She is part of my family, and I adore you for the strength that God has given to you. You are a good woman. We've heard the tributes that have been said about our brother, Mr. Femi. A day shall come when people will give tribute about us. And what we do now really matters. From the day you were born to the day God calls you, the dash in between carries weight. What did we do on earth? How nice were you to people? How good, how loving, how kind. The words that you say to people, does it elevate people or you tear them and you bring them down? Did you accept Christ? Did we serve God? Serving God is not by coming to the house of the Most High God only. When people see your attitude, they should know that you are a child of God. You don't need to say it. Your attitude tells people that this is different. This is a child of God. And I can attest to that, that you are a child of the Most High God. And you give him all your heart. And Jehovah will protect you. He has been your shade and your refuge. He will never leave you at this time. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that God said that he's a husband to the widow. And God, from the day your husband passed, will continue to be your husband. And provision, we never, you will never lack. If God has not failed you then, he will not fail you now. Because you need more of him now. 
And to the children, we love you. And God will continue to be with you. My prayer for you is to complete your education. And God will give you the right husband that he has prepared for you. We will celebrate all of you in the name of Jesus. Daddy might not be there, but your God that your mother serve will be there for you. And will not let you down in the name of Jesus. Amen. The next tribute is from Damilola Olatunji. I'll start with a quote that I wa um, from a movie that I watched for the first time with my dad. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give, give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I searched for hours for the perfect words to say, but I don't think that they will ever come. The only thing that I do know is that there are so many things that I wish for. Things I wish I said, things I wish I did. I wish I would have answered my phone more. I wish I was a better daughter. I wish I could hear you laugh again. I wish I could see you smile again. I wish I could hug you one last time. I wish I could hear your voice again, just to hear you laugh, even a chuckle. I wish I could follow you to your office one last time. I wish I could have one last moment with you. Every argument we've ever had seems so small now. I'm blessed to have known you and to have had you as my father. Your laugh echoes my spirit. I'm blessed to have known you, a man of excellence, a spreader of joy, firm in your word. I will honor your memory for as long as, you, as I live. Death is so perfect in its finality. However, I'm comforted knowing you reside in a better place now. The Bible says in Philippians 3, verses 13 to 14, no dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. But I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. One person to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Life is short. Make that phone call. Send that text. Forgive that person. Tell them you miss them. Let go of that grudge. Show more kindness. Keep it simple. Move with intention. Fulfill your purpose. Laugh more. Smile more. Forgive more. Don't take life for granted. Tomorrow is not promised. And above all, Focus on God, and every other thing will follow. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. We thank God, we thank God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dami Lola. That was very nice. When you have a father, the Bible says, honor your father and your mother so that your days on earth might be long. Even if your father is a wizard, it doesn't matter. The Bible says, honor him. Do your own portion. And let God do his own portion. Some of us, because daddy was a wizard, we will not honor him. Because the fear that he will use your money to do something. But we have God that sees Honor your father and your mother so that your days on earth might be long. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for all the tributes. That Milola, that was very nice. Forgive now. Tomorrow might be too late. 
Love now. Smile. Help people. Help people. We are not taking these dollars to heaven. Help people. Help people. Do not be stingy. Help people. And God will give us more. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our choir will give us another hymn. Blessed Assurance. Thank you, choir.
Agnes Esther said something very beautiful about her sister Abu. I believe that I believe that um, the first lady of the house I've also known her very closely and um, the senior pastor even though he's not here the first lady is here and he want to she want to say something briefly about this wonderful woman of God um, let, let receive let receive right now the first lady of living faith the Reverend Naomi Alote. Praise the Lord. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm very privileged this evening to be standing here. Um, and I'm also sad that I'm standing here to say something. Not... Um, how should I put it? But I want to just thank the Lord for this evening that we've gathered here this evening to celebrate the homegoing of Mr. Femi. Amen. I have no idea of Mr. Femi. I have never seen him. I don't know him. But I know Mrs. Femi. Hallelujah. Um, I want to say something in um, Psalm 90 verse, 19, verse 12. It says, so teach us to number our days that we may cultivate and bring to you a heart of wisdom. Let me tell you something. I'm going to give a little short words of encouragement. Life is very, very mysterious. And a miserable person on earth is somebody who does not accept the Lord as his personal savior and die without accepting the Lord. Whilst I was coming, I was asking myself, was this man a believer? Was this man, did, she, did he accept the Lord as his personal savior? But lo and behold, thank God my questions were answered without me asking. I have never met Mr. Femi, as I said before. But the wise decision he took was to accept the Lord. And the Bible says, blessed is the man that walks or works in the ways or walks in the light of the Lord. He said, blessed is the man who seated not in the counsel of the ungodly. I haven't met Sister Abu for a long time. And as Sister Esther said, everything about this woman is in its extreme. When you talk about love, it's in its extreme. When you talk about beauty, it's in its extreme. When you talk about her faith in the Lord, it's in its extreme. I've been in church business for 36 years. And I've seen human beings, men and women, how we can pretend like a lizard or snake, chameleon. Sometimes they'll come to church like a untouchable. You, I mean, yes, thank you. I love the Lord. Give them two, three months. He tell you, he see who they are, who they really are. I'm yet to find out whether there's another side of this woman. And it, has, it attests to the fact of everything that they've been, people that have testified about their husband have said. She's an amazing human being. No wonder God has given you and blessed you with such a beautiful three children. Lady Abu, our sister has been a blessing in the house of the Lord. Our sister has been a loving lady in the house of the Lord. And as it says in John chapter 9, one more time, verse 4. Please let me say this and then I'll take my seat. John chapter 9, verse 4. John chapter 9, verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh and when no man can work. John chapter 9. Brother Femi lived his life according to the people that came and testified. He led his life 
And a wise man is a man that will lead his life and become a believer while it is day. Because he didn't know that a night will be coming when he wouldn't be able to do anything. Life is a mystery. And sometimes you ask yourself, why? That everybody is testifying about Femi. So why did God take him? Why should a man like this be taken so sudden? Why should Sister Abu, with all her love, with all her respect, with, her, with all everything about her, should be left lonely at this time when she needed somebody and it's getting cold. It's going to be December. You need a man to warm you up. Why should God take him at this time? But the Bible says in some that secret things belongs to God. This evening, my dear lady and my sister, Abu, I want you to have the confidence and the courage and the faith. Because the Bible says, the, when, except the oceans will soar, the storms will roar. But those that have their trust in God shall be like Mount Zion, unmovable and unshakable. Hallelujah. For some reason, when I called or when I heard about the death of this lady, and my husband and I are so amazed about her behavior, we called her, I think I called her, and the first thing she told me was the accident. And let me tell you, I'm standing on the, the, the platform of God, and I'm not going to lie. I would have been, me, be screaming out of, on top of my voice. But this, this lady puts me to shame. Let me tell you today, you put me to shame. I called you. The way you spoke, you even encouraged me. Assured me that it will be well. And then the next day, I called you. And you told me that he has been with the Lord. But it is well with your soul. What kind of woman is this? You are a mentor. I'm giving you a PhD degree. You are, a, you, you are an example to the women. You have shown me what courage and confidence is when you have God. You have proved to me that everything is a sinking sun. But when you have the Lord, it's enough. May God continue to build your faith. May God continue to grant you favor. Amen. You are so beautiful, sweetheart. In two years' time, wherever the man is, God will bring it to your doorstep. You are not going to get married to God. Because God cannot meet some of the needs. He will do everything, but there's 1%. That he cannot feel it. But God will bring it to pass in your life. I want you not to grieve because the Bible says, those that grieve have no hope. You have proved to me that, sister, there is God and there is nothing that we can't have if we have him. May Jehovah grant you peace. Amen. May Jehovah deliver you Amen. from every attack of the enemy. Yes. Even as you're about to take a trip to Nigeria, and as we know what Nigeria is right now, may the umbrella of God cover you and your children. May he take you safely there and bring you back. The Bible says his faithfulness is a shield yes. and a wall. May yes. it be around you. As he guided the Israelites in the daytime, with the pillar of cloud, and in the night time with the pillar of fire. May that pillar of cloud take you from here to Nigeria, and may that pillar of fire encamp around you. Order your steps and bring you safely, because those that put their trust in God shall be like a Mount Zion, unmovable and unshakable. God bless you. I love you. Thank you, Reverend Naomi. <laughs> oh, that was a very powerful message. 
I'm laughing because the day I heard it, in, I was in my office and I remember it was a Tuesday morning. And my husband called me to tell me the news. And then he asked me, are you standing or sitting? I said, I left home this morning. Everything was well. I said, okay, wait, let me sit down first. When he told me the news, I could not believe it. Because the previous day, Monday, we had prayed for hours. We prayed and prayed and believed God. And we got a good news that evening. Just to learn that Tuesday morning, he passed. Oh, the shock was too much for me. And because I was the only one running the clinic, I couldn't tell them I had to leave. So I stayed put and I managed myself. And then later that day, I called her. I was expecting, crying, screaming. And then the next thing she said, oh, it is well, it is, ah. Huh? I said, somebody that I've just lost her husband, encouraging me that it is well. I said, uh, Esther, you have to be strong. It is, <laughs> it is really well. The knowledge of God in her has strengthened her spirit that she cannot be moved at all. And God will continue to keep you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll give one more tribute to Nife Olatunji. Please come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How are you? I'm always the one to tell people how they feel is how they feel, and no one can ever do anything or change how they feel. Or what happened in the past is in the past, and there's nothing we can do to ever go. So we need to focus. So we need to focus on the present and the future. And it's like, can I just go back for a second, try to do something differently or say something differently to be a better daughter? Or even just have some special words. something, something to try to ease the pain in my heart and just make this passing a little more comfortable. I just wish I could see you laugh again. Hold on, I'm sorry, I gotta clean my eyes. I, could, I wish I could see you laugh again with your straight white teeth and salt and pepper mustache. I used to find it annoying everyone saying I look just like you, but now it makes me happy and kind of proud to be your twin. I can't even imagine the fear you were going through in your last breaths, but I find peace in knowing that you're in a better place now. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> and I just thank God for blessing me with the wonderful Father. I just wish I could have a few more special moments with you, but I know that God has a plan for everything. And in his perfect timing, we will meet again in paradise. I love you forever, Daddy. Thank you. God bless you. The Lord will continue to comfort you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank God we have another hymn from the choir. Great is our faithfulness. Thank you, choir.
choir. Shall be seated. Please be seated. Thank you, choir. Thank you, thank you. The next agenda is eulogy and biography by Otumba Dr. Tai Balofi. Thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord. I'm going to read uh, a brief biography of uh, Olufemi Oladimeji Olatunji. Uh, sunrise, August 17, 1960, uh, sunset, September 28, 2020. Femi Olatunji was born in the city of Kano in the northern part of Nigeria on the 17th of August, 1960 just before Nigerian independent to Mr. Sunday or Latunji and Rachel Fatimiro. He was the first fruit in the union. He started his elementary school in Kano, in Kano State of Nigeria, and later moved to Lagos with his parents. He got admitted to the prestigious Anglican Grammar School, Igbaroke, AGSI, in, from 1972. Uh, he got admitted to Anglican Grammar School in 1972-73 set and got integrated to his native town of Igbaroke. He spent his free time with his grandmother, popularly known as Iyaunio, the woman that sells pounded yam, during his secondary school days. Femi lost his father in the year 1973, and the mother passed on in 2004. He was a very active and friendly student filled with senses of humor and love at the same time. In Anglican Grammar School, his classmate always referred to him as Shakbara. He moved back to Lagos after the completion of his secondary education. Femi joined the services of the Nigerian Airways immediately after his secondary education in 1978. And shortly after that, shortly after that, he relocated to the United States of America. He attended the New York Institute of Technology 1981 to 1985. As a young man, he worked various, he worked varieties of jobs and further acquired various skills and obtained real estate practicing license as a realtor and broker. He established his own business, a real estate business, called Femri Realty Group Incorporated in the city of New York in 1989. Femri Realty Group became one of New York's most successful property management company with an overwhelming property portfolio. His business interests, successes, and growth geared him to acquire in Nigeria a company called Chris Rock Laboratories Industries Limited and Chris Rock House of Doors in 1994 and further founded Southcom Limited in 2010. Femi had his first daughter in 1989, Barista Unikon, and married to Mrs. Abu Ola 
Olatunji in 1995, and both blessed with three beautiful daughters, Kemi, Damilola, and Ulua Nifemi. Nife. He is a great and loving husband, father, grandfather, brother, companion, and a friend. Femi is a simple, detribalized individual whose relationships cut across the divide. A cheerful giver, fabulous companion, amiable socialite, responsible and a reliable friend, easygoing and always ready to lend a hand. He is fondly referred to as Femri, Femu, Shapara by his different socialites. While he is popularly christened King of Boys by the youths of Igbaroki, his home town. He is a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG. Zion Sanctuary Mega Parish in Antony Village, Lagos, Nigeria. He was a worker in the Protocol Welfare and Sunday School Department and was also the coordinator of the Bible College of the parish. He is a very active fellow and members of the following clubs and association, Excellent Men's Club of Lagos, D Club of Igbaroki, Anglican Grammar School Igbaroki All Student Association, holding a vital executive position of the Deputy National Publicity Secretary. Famous that on September the 29th, the 28th, 2020, was unfortunate and devastating. But he has a run, a God's grace. He has to run God's race. And as a mother that we all are, his reminiscence, his name, Uluwa Femi, meaning God loves me. Thou, we love him, but God loves him more. We pray that God will rest Femi Olatunji in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. The next agenda is prayer for the family of uh, Mr. Olufemi Olatunji by Reverend Naomi Alote and uh, Pastor Kayode Babalola. Amen. <clears throat> Please let's rise up on our feet. We are going to have a corporate prayer. When things like this occur, and you have never experienced it, you will never understand until you have the understanding of the understanding. We want to pray for this family that God will just calm their spirits and fill the vacuum and protect them because this is a very big world. And there was a very one man that they had. Now they will be looking all over the world. Looking for that one man. And that man will be nowhere to be found. It will take a woman who has the trust and faith in God. To be able to understand and endure. 
in this world when we need fatherly love for our children when we need the fathers to teach our children what to do at what time we asking God to guide these children we asking God to give them insight the strength to know that It's him alone that can be relied upon. I want you to stretch your hands on this family. I want you to speak to God for them from the depths of your heart. I didn't understand it until I lost my mom and I lost my father. And then understood it. I understood it. I used to laugh at people who see it when they are when they, they've lost their parents, I mean, when, when they are tearing about something like this, I used to laugh. But until I understood them, I understood the circumstances. Please open your mouth and speak something. Tell some God something on behalf of this family. That God will protect them. That God will keep them. That God will fill the vacuum in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up. We worship you. As we are celebrating the home going of our brother, our friend, and our father, Lord Jesus. of this song on the screen. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds. Can we all please sing this song? This stanza and the last stanza. This stanza and the last stanza. We'll first stanza please. Let's go. The last answer. Repeat that. 
get stands. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, our Savior. Shepherd, friend, our prophet, priest, and king. Our Lord, our life, our wealth, our end, our subject, our prophet. Jesus, our Savior, our shepherd, our friend.
We shall not give the glory to the enemy. We shall give the glory unto you. Because you know all things. And you do all things. Make everything beautiful for us. We give you the glory. Tonight. Protect them. The children. I commit them into your hands. Father, fill every vacuum. Let them know that all is not lost. Jehovah, be their shield. Be their protector. Be their comforter. As you told the disciples, you said you will not leave us lonely. But you are going and you send the comforter. Who will protect? Who will encourage? Who will hide us? Who will deliver us? This, uh, this evening, we are praying and we are thanking you for the comforter that has been sent to calm them, to protect them, and to hide them. I thank you in the name of the Father. I thank you in the name of the Son. I thank you in the name of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, thank you. Please be remain um, in the attitude of prayer. I want to um, give honor to the set man and the set woman of this sanctuary. Uh, Pastor Reverend Naomi and Daddy is not here. God will continue to lift you up, promote your ministry. And God Almighty will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Whenever we hear about you and your ministry, it will be for celebration, ma'am. In Jesus' name. For this God is a God. Father in heaven, God is saying divine acceleration. God is saying the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. God is saying, I will bear you on eagle's wings, even as in the days of old. Grace will speak for you. Mercy will speak for you. The glory of the latter house indeed shall be greater than the former. I see the hand of God lifting you up. I see God visiting your family. I see God turning things around. I see God rearranging things. I hear God roaring. The lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring now. All shall not fear. The God of heaven is on his throne and he will lift you up. Weep not again, my sister. Weep no more, my daughters. Because God, the strength of Zion, is your strength. From today, you will begin to flourish unlimited in Jesus' name. From today, the grace of God will catapult you where your power 
your energy and your strength cannot get you. The grace and the mercy of God will take you there. I see God Almighty sending help and help us from the east to the west, from the north to the south. My Lord and my God, the rewarder of them that are diligently seek him, he will begin to reward you from today in a multi-dimensional way that you have never experienced before. My Lord and my God, he says it is well with you. He says, fear not, it is well with you. As I was with the day, the, our fathers of old is saying, he says, I will be with you. I will be your husband. To the children, I will be your father. I will do more for you. I will do greater things for you. And so, Father in heaven, we thank you because you have spoken. We thank you for this awesome family. We join our faith together. And we decree and declare that it is well with you. It is well with everything that pertains to you. As you begin to navigate your way to Lagos, Nigeria, my Lord and my God will send his angels to bear you on eagle's wings. You will arrive safely in Lagos and you will return safely. That no evil will come near you. No evil will come near your children. No evil will come near the extended family. The program will go well. The internment will go well. You will not regret traveling to Lagos. Rather, you will come back with testimonies, rejoicing, celebrating. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you children. From today, you'll be taught of the Lord. You and your mother, you'll be for signs and wonders to the whole world in the name of Jesus and great will be the peace of you children you will be generational changers my Lord and my God will lift you up high to the pinnacle of the topmost in the name of Jesus you will begin to operate with heavenly wisdom from today the sunny spirit will be your portion you will be able to shift the grain from the shaft in the name of Jesus, my sister, it is well with you. God is saying, <laughs> divine acceleration, divine acceleration. That is what God keeps saying to me. That is, those are the words I've heard, even in this sanctuary today. I see God opening doors for you. I see God turning things around for good for you. I see God sending you men and women, destiny helpers. From today in Jesus' name, what you cannot do on your own, God will make it easy for you. My Lord and my God, we bless everyone that is blessing you. It will be a friend to your friends. God will be an adversary to your adversaries. For everyone praying for you, my Lord and my God, we will not let you mourn in the name of Jesus. You will not have infants of days in your family no one in your families will die before their time and because you have come here today to encourage this family my Lord will comfort you with the same comfort where which we are comforted in the name of Jesus I continue to pray for you my sister and my children that you have gained God as your partner you have gained God as your father. You have gained God as your protector. I sing and I praise God for your lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship and we give you glory. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed. And so let someone shout a living hallelujah. I can't hear you shout it like you mean it. Hallelujah is the song of the victorious ones. 
if you are victorious, shout a living hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Much love. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just please be seated. Please be seated in his presence. Shall we all rise as we sing the final, the closing hymn? To God be the glory. Let's sing it with, with joy in our hearts. Because all that happens to us, we give Him glory. Amen. By Kemi, Kemi Ola Tunji. By Kemi Ola Tunji. We, the family of Mr. Kemi Ola Tunji. Wish to express our deepest appreciation and, gra and gratitude to all our friends and family that have gathered together to get today, including everyone in this room, everyone participating through Zoom. We thank you all. We thank you to the pastor. We thank you to his wife. We thank you to the entire Living Faith Church, to the Ibero K citizens, to the angelic sorry, to the Anglican Grammar School alumni, to the Club of Ibaroque 
for all your efforts. We appreciate you. God bless you all, and thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Amen. Shall we all rise and let's say a closing prayer? Um, when we when we leave here, um, I'm told there's a um, there's a small package for like refreshment. It's a package. You just take it. So you just take and go. You will not have to sit down. You know the season in which we are. It's a season that you don't sit down too much. You just you just grab and go. Amen. Amen. But if you have any offering, don't take it away. We have the offering pots here. Come come and put it in. If you have if you brought any envelope for the family, please just you 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 know what to do. Amen. It's a time that we are grieving with each other and we need support too. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. How can we say thanks? We don't know how to say it. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness that you shower on us daily. Thank you, Lord, for how you have kept your daughter, the strength that you gave her in this time of difficulty, the emotional fortification, the stamina that you gave to this family. Thank you. I know one thing that you, when you begin a good thing, you continue until it is done. So I know you are taking them safely back to Nigeria and you are bringing them safely back. I know that you will keep them through this life. I know that these girls are your girls and you are going to order their steps. You will preserve them from evil. Oh my God. The invocation have gone. The word have been sent before them. And I know that Lord you will not lead them into temptation, but you will preserve them from evil. I know that, Lord, because of your faithfulness, you will keep them and they will grow up to be not just women, but, Lord, but they will be great women, great wives, great mothers in the name of Jesus. Girls that will bring glory to their parents, and to their family. I know you will keep your daughter. In the name of Jesus. You will preserve her. And you will lead this family. Where the pastures are green. And the waters are still. Because you are a good shepherd. You know the end from the beginning. And you actually end before you begin. Thank you. As you live here. But not your presence. That you Get us all safely back home. In the name of Jesus. You brought us safely here. So we, we can guarantee. On the assurance that. You get us safely back home. I sanctify the highways. And the byways. And I invoke safety. Thank you Lord. That you always give your angel charge. Over your loved ones. So I know. Even though we are not seeing them, they are in charge right now. Bearing this family in their hands and keeping them against any wickedness of men and the devil. Thank you. Thank you for the food provided. We bless and we sanctify in the name of Jesus. Thank you that whatever is needed is provided because you are a good God and your benefits are awesome. We give you all the glory. And we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.